Lod Chong Thai. These are the basic ingredients to make Lod Chong. We also have a recipe for this at, uh, at importfood.com. If you go to our website, here is a commercial kitchen. This lady makes it for a living and she makes large batches. We have the Lod Chong press, which is identical to that, but in a smaller version. And we sell all the cookware that's necessary to make Lod Chong. This is the lady that's a guest at our Thai cooking school in Kanchanaburi. She's going to show how to do it. That is the kiwi knife, uh, the classic knife from Thailand used by so many cooks. And she starts by adding the rice flour into the a medium hot wok. It's not hot yet, but she won't turn the heat up very high. Uh, she keeps the heat nice and low. You don't want to burn it. She starts out with the regular rice flour and then adds mung bean flour and then a pandan water mixture. And inside the pandan water mixture also has limestone water. Again, you can refer to the recipe for the correct proportions. And uh, there are some tips on how to make this turn out really well. It's an excellent tasting dessert. It has a unique appearance. There she's dumping in the pandan water. She says to use low heat, of course, or low to medium heat, and to only stir it in one direction. That is her tip. And if you stir it in the same direction over and over again, you, it'll be mixed properly. After about six to eight minutes of stirring, constant stirring, it looks like that. It takes on that same consistency. She pours it into the Lod Chong press. And what you get is little pieces that sort of resemble a, a, a gooey spaghetti. They're very fragrant and tasty, and this will be added on to a, uh, or topped with a palm sugar topping. It's a little bit like noodles. You can see the action there. She says don't make them too long. So this way they're nice and, and short little pieces. Lod Chong, of course, is sold in Thailand by street vendors that specialize in sweets. You can find it all over Thailand. It's a, it's a real classic and we love showing you how to make it here. We also have a recipe for Lod Chong Singapore, which is the another style. That's palm sugar. We sell an excellent natural palm sugar at importfood.com. That's handmade, uh, collected from the sap of a palm tree. We also have that same burner actually at importfood.com. We have the high power burner. Those are jasmine flower essence. We have a, a jasmine essence uh, sold at importfood.com as well. It's not totally necessary. That adds a nice little fragrance. It's a mild flavor. You're going to dissolve that. You can dissolve it in some water if you'd like, if you don't have the, the, the flower essence. Um, and once that's completely dissolved, she adds a coconut cream. We also have an excellent quality coconut cream. That's a dessert style coconut cream. And that is regular uh, sugar, granulated sugar. After she's done mixing it all up, you'll see her put some Lud Chung into the bowl. And then it will be topped with the sweet sugar mixture. Mm -hmm. 
นี้ใส่โรยเห็นก่อนนี่ต้องดูตอนนี้ตามาแล้วแต่ตรงนี้เนี่ยหนึ่งอย่างแล้วหนึ่งตะบวยมันจะหวานพอดีหนึ่งตะบวยจะหวานพอดีนี่ค่ะอ another recipe which is a little bit similar to that is b u a l o i We have a recipe for b u a l o i at at importfood.com as well. Thai sweets are a special treat, and if you're ever in Thailand, it's a wonderful thing to try. She covers that with ice, and you should try making this at home now that you have your l u d chung press. Everybody would love it. Thank you very much for watching. We have an entire street vendor video series at importfood.com. And we appreciate your feedback.